the ground, sunshine. Uh, do you want to go see it? Is that an invitation? Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. Are you a chain and item? <laughs> an item? Like going together. Hey, all we did was go to the movies. Well, that's enough encouragement for Shane. Hello? Is anybody there? Look up there, what's that? Car headlights. Bike, maybe. That's where I heard those weird noises. What is all that stuff? It's bizarre. Ah! Reggie! Reggie! Come quickly, Reggie's had an accident. All right, hang in there, Julia, we're coming. Did it reach the bottom okay? Wake up. Ah, oh, what happened? I feel like I've been hit in the head by a horse. Ah, oh. you lost your footing and slipped down the edge. Oh, I can be such an idiot sometimes. Ah, oh. come on, slowly, slowly. Oh. Can I get you out of here in a minute? Ow. Julia, Julia, what happened? Are you okay, Reggie? Oh. Yeah, she's all right. Thanks to that woman with you. What woman? I thought you wanted us to bring the rope. Yeah, I did, but she came first. There's no one here but us. But she has to be. She helped me get down. I'm telling you, it's just Vince and me. Come on. It was so strange. One second she was there, and then when you and Vince arrived, she disappeared completely. Oh, my head. How is she, Doctor? No serious damage, but you'll need to take it easy for the next day or so. You're gonna freeze my brain off with this thing. Glad to see you still got that old charm, Reggie. Come on, Reggie, you heard Dr. Miller. Come on, let's get you into bed. <sighs> oh, I'm fine, I tell you. Oh! oh! I think I'm gonna need an ice pack on both ends. Hey, Reggie, how are you feeling? Better, I think. What time is it? Half past nine. You've slept for about ten hours. No wonder I'm so hungry. Uh, so, what's the plan for tomorrow? What plan? I have to find my mystery rescuer. I don't think that's a good idea. You know, the doctor just said... I know. I'm fine. And besides, I have to say thank you, don't I? We don't even know if she's still around. We won't know till we find out. Have you always been so stubborn? Just since I was born. How's the patient? Well, I think it takes more than falling down some rocks to stop Reggie. Yeah, she's a tough one, all right? Yeah, with a very hard head. Yeah, you got that right. Now, look, I think I should warn you. About what? Well, about the surf club gig. I don't want you thinking it's some flash Berlin nightclub. <laughs> well, uh, I think I can cope with a culture shock. So you go out dancing a lot? You and Michael? Yeah. Sometimes I go with Michael, sometimes with other friends. So how long have you been going out? For about a year. So it's pretty serious then. Why are you so interested in Michael? What? No, I wasn't. I just... Wonder? Yeah. Well, uh, Michael's very nice. Yeah, sure. But Colin's very far away from Australia. Yeah, it is.
Reggie! Hey, Reggie! Morning. How are you feeling? Good. How's Reggie? A bit sore and sorry for herself, I would imagine. She can't be too sore. I just saw her belting around on her horse. She's out riding. Unless she's been cloned. The doctor specifically asked her to rest. Why on earth would she be out riding? You know, Reggie. Hey, last night, she really wanted to thank that woman who helped us. Well, that's very nice, but it could have waited just one more day. I'll go up there and make sure she's OK. Oh, that would be great, Vince. Thanks. How's your riding going? Oh, it's great. It's great, isn't it? It's much better. Yeah, well, go carefully, eh? I'll ride like a baby. That's what I'm afraid of. G'day, Stu. How's the patients? Come and have a look. Here you go, mate. Yeah. Good morning tea. Sorry there's no milk and sugar. It's looking a bit comfortable. You want to be careful, mate. You might want to stay. Well, we didn't eat much fruit last night. No, there's no need to panic just yet. He might be a little bit nervy with the new surroundings. Let's just see how he goes tonight, eh? Well, the others act like pigs. You know, how you going, Blue? Well, that's a good sign. Let's go and check him out, eh? How you going, Rastus? Good boy. I won't be long. It's all your fault that I fell. Must be your sexy good looks. Why are you going through my things? No, I, I wasn't honest. I just wanted to say thank you. You're the girl from yesterday, the one who fell. Yeah, exactly. Just wanted to tell you how grateful I am. Fine, you've thanked me. Now, do you mind? Mind? I've got a lot of work to do. Oh, sure. No worries. Hey, is that an old Charlton College shirt? Um, I have no idea. Got it at a second-hand shop. It's just I used to go there, that's all. Really? Well, I was never very big on school. I got thrown out of mine. Well, there's nothing. I got asked to leave three. Right, well, now that we know each other's life history... I know. You've got heaps of work to do. OK, I'll see you later. Bye. Thanks, Julia. I think they can have a holiday in the shade today. Hey, you guys finished yet? Absolutely. It's too hot to do anything else. Uh, I thought we might hit the beach, Julia. What do you reckon? Well, um, are you sure there's no more help I can give you? None whatsoever. Your time's your own. Well, uh, great then. I'd love to. Cool. Well, uh, let's get our stuff together then. Are you right? Troy flipped a bean when she heard you'd gone riding. No worries, I'm fine. Hey, listen. I found that girl. The mystery rescuer? She has a cold camp out there. Doesn't she know it's National Park? I don't think she's actually in the National Park, but you should see she's got so much stuff, it's like a factory. It must have some sort of racket going on. I wonder what it is. What does it have to be a racket for? What else would it be up here? Out of the way, no prying eyes. So what? She probably just wanted some peace and quiet so she could make those things we saw hanging in the clearing. Did you ask her what the story was with those things? I didn't want to be rude. You can't rush these things, Vince. Hasn't stopped you before. <sighs> Eat my dust. <laughs>
So, what's the big deal about swimming between the flags? Well, the rip, obviously. Rip? Well, backwash. If you get caught in that, you'll end up in South America. Well, I'd like to go to South America. To be honest, I don't think you'd get very far. If the rip doesn't suck you under, the sharks will get you. I suppose there's not many beaches like this in Berlin. Hey, come on, stop it. That's not fair. Oh, you could always go for a surf down the Danube or something, though, couldn't you? Hey, it's the Spree, you big lump. The River Spree. All right, I admit, I failed German geography as well as maths, English. I bet you didn't. I bet you're really smart. Well, I wouldn't say smart. Then what? More like genius. More like show off. Where are you going? South America. You have to admit that she's got a lot of guts living out in the bush like that. Oh, come on, it's the perfect setup. She's got to be up to something. Just because people choose to do different things doesn't make them criminals. Okay, okay, so you found her and you thanked her. Why not leave it at that? What if she needs help? What if she's in trouble? Maybe you've got an overactive imagination. You should have seen her, though. It was almost like looking into a mirror, and I'm dead sure that she felt it too. Reggie, is that you? There's someone here to see you. Now that you're back from your ride. Me? Mum! Here you go, Bluey, a real smorgasbord. Nice fresh pet food straight from the can. And off your juicy snails right from the garden. <laughs> hey, come here. Don't look, Bluey, it's too gross. <laughs> Hi, Jake. Hi. Race you to the house. Oh. Blue, if I'm like that when I'm older, I promise I'll let you put me in a cage. I can't tell you the scare you gave us when Tori rang us to say you'd had that fall. It was nothing, honest. Come on, Reggie. I know your idea of nothing. Well, you didn't have to fly up from Melbourne and, and leave your conference. Well, of course I did. Besides, conference was boring. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. I'm glad you did. And when I got home, there was a message on the answering machine from your correspondence college. I can explain that. You don't have to explain. They said you'd passed the year's work and commended you on the excellence of your case study. You're kidding me. <laughs> Why would I kid about that? Your father and I have waited years for you to get the sort of results we know you're capable of. That's such fantastic news. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. I should be bringing champagne, not coffee. Oh, Tori, we can't thank you enough for what you've done to help Reggie. Oh, well, she did all the hard work. Yes, but you provided the environment. Well, that's what's encouraged the responsibility and, and maturity. You can get away that easily. <laughs> what were you saying about maturity? <laughs> I just want to say uh, thanks for coming to the beach today. It was great. Oh, yeah, for me too. I even brought home a souvenir to take back to Germany. Yeah? A shoe full of sand. <laughs> what you doing? School assignments. Keep forgetting that I'm supposed to be doing them while I'm here. Yeah, don't blame you. What's that? Jessie. Who's Jessie? Well, I wish I knew. Sorry? Something Mum said to me before she died. She wanted me to apologise to Tori about this Jessie. And did you? Well, I tried to, but Tori said she didn't know anybody called Jessie. I've asked everybody, no one's ever heard of her. Or him. Jessie's a man's name, too. Well, yeah, not that you hear it much these days. <sighs> Male or female. I'm at a total dead end. I just wish I knew why it was so important to Mum. Hey, have you tried Mrs. Churchill, the old historian woman? That's a good idea. She she knows everything about the district. That's a perfect suggestion. Well, you know, I'm not your average everyday genius. I go up there tomorrow. Would you like to come with me? Oh, I'd love to, but I've got to work the horses. Tori will kill me if I don't. I'd hate that to happen. Yeah, not half as much as I would. Hi, Mrs. Churchill. Oh, Julia, how lovely to see you again. I hope you don't mind me calling in like this. Of course I don't, but I'm just on my way out. 
Well, I'm sorry. I should have rung to make sure you'd be home. Darling, don't be sorry. I'd love to stay and have a chat. But Mrs. Bremer picks me up every week and we do some shopping. Very kind of her. What about tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow would be marvellous. More research, is it? Well, actually, it's about a friend of my mother's. At least I think it's a friend. Uh, someone called Jessie. Jessie, did you say? Yeah, you know her? What prompts you to ask about Jessie? Well, it was something that Mom said. Sh she wanted me to apologise about her to Tori. What has Tori said? Well, she says she doesn't know what I mean. I see. Mrs Churchill, what's this about? <coughs> Who is Jessie? Oh, look, I'll have to go, darling. Why don't you come tomorrow and I'll tell you all about it? Well, can't you just give me a hint now? <laughs> You're so like your mother. You want to know everything yesterday. Tomorrow, I'll give you the full story, OK? OK. Come about one. We'll have lunch. Yeah, thanks, Mrs Churchill. I'll be here. Oh, good morning. What are you doing back here? Wait, before you say anything, I didn't want to intrude yesterday. Like I said, all I wanted to do was say thank you. Now, I bought you some stuff. Bread, milk, things like that. You can have them if you want, they're free. Keep them. What? You heard me. I appreciate the gesture, but if it's intended as some kind of repayment for the other day, it's really not necessary. Look, who the heck do you think you are? You just can't talk to other people like that. I beg your pardon? I didn't come up here to repay you. It just seemed like you were doing it a little bit tough. Look, I, I just thought you might like that stuff, that's all. Oh, listen, if you think I'm some sort of charity case... I don't think that. Just seemed like you needed a little bit of help. You don't have to declare World War Three. All I'm saying is I want to be left on my own. Fine. You should have said that in the first place. I thought I did. What are you doing out here, anyway? If you must know, I'm preparing for an exhibition. I'm a sculptor. Oh, now I get it. That explains all those things in the clearing. Yep, they're my pieces. Oh, can't wait to tell Shane. He thought you were a dropout or a doll bludger or something. Well, he wouldn't be the first one. And what is it with that skull on the tree? Is that weird or what? OK, that's enough. You have to understand that I need to work and I need peace and quiet to do it. Sure, no worries. I'm Reggie. Rachel. I'm glad we got that sorted out. A sculptor, hey? That's pretty cool. OK, I'll leave you to it. Nice to meet you, Rachel. You hot to try? Just say the word. All right. Let's give these horses some exercise. Get up! Come on! <laughs> So Mrs Churchill can help you. She knows, Reggie. At last I can find out what Mum was talking about. That's great. Hey, I've got some news too. What? She's an artist. Who, Mrs Churchill? No, the woman in the bush. She's a sculptor. So you went up there again? Yeah, just to make things right with her, make up for yesterday. So all those strange metal things are... Art. No wonder we had no idea what they were. It's just so obvious when you think about it. These are... Time for a rest, I reckon. Talking about you or the horses? Mate, you shouldn't do too much in the youth. You risk burning yourself out in your prime. Shane. Yeah? Has anyone ever told you you're full of it? All the time. I reckon it's just jealousy, though. So what's the story? Story? Don't play dumb, you and Julia. Come on, mate, we're just friends. According to Jake, it's hand-holding, giggling, snuggling friends. Yeah, we know Jake. He spends too much time talking to animals in cages. Hey, Vince, check this out. What? I'm serious, come here. This better be good. Can't change the subject, that is. Is this what I think it is? Filthy mongrels. There's another one over here. There you go, mate. Go lead a normal life. This one's empty. What's well, something then? 
sort of low life would lay traps like these. Big money in native animals. They smuggle them overseas. I'm kidding. Dead set. One of the farmers at home got caught doing it and he got five years in the clink. We've got to tell Stu about this. You guys did the right thing bringing me these. So what's the plan? Can we organise a stakeout? I know. We could dust the traps for Prince. Jake, I don't... Well, maybe it's better if I take it from here, eh? I could organise a surveillance system. It'd be a cinch, honest. Well, uh, thanks, mate. But I think we might go a little bit more low-tech to start with. All right? Oh, hey, Stuart. What's going on? We just cracked a wildlife trapping racket. What? I wouldn't say cracked it. More like discovered it. <laughs> wow, and I thought I had an exciting morning. So what happens now? Well, right now, I think you should leave it to me, and hopefully who's ever doing these things will be caught sooner rather than later, OK? There you go. Enjoy. Yeah, good on you, Reggie. You know, I just don't understand the mentality of people who trap animals and sell them overseas. Money talks all languages, eh? Yeah, it's pretty sick, if you ask me. Oi, what do you reckon about that Rachel girl? You reckon she's pretty sus? Yeah, I've got to admit that whole artist thing's a bit hard to believe. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Remember the light on the hill the other night? Yeah, what about it? Well, it had to be someone out trapping. And she's the only one we know's up there. Good point. And why would she nick off so quickly after Reggie's accident unless she had something to hide? Yeah, Peter, we don't have any proof. Proof wouldn't be difficult. A quick trip up to her campsite would prove it one way or the other. All right, let's do it. Just don't tell Reggie, OK? Seen anything? No. Better check, though. What are you doing? Seeing if she's home. Well? All right, let's do it. You check the annex and I'll check around the back. Shane, get over here, mate. Looks like we found our trapper. 